a couple of poems that are um, basically supported by some uh, authentic experience of moving into a new private but also erotic space. <coughs> tailbone against tailbone. Tailbone against tailbone we fight the interchangeability of weather. As if your body in a ball were the point of the whole ticklish process in my spine. We're lying back to back, curling into our idea of ourselves. With our hands like palms resting childlike on our faces, but connected nonetheless. Like Siamese twins, two phases of the alternating current. First, you're one and I'm the other, and then the other way around. Impossibly fast, like this and like that, so we'd be one. Impossibly fast, like this and like that, so we'd be one. We're entwined, virtually. Virtual photon, genetic chains of light, which, aside from other things, maintains our faces in Hellenic youth, and even encourages our majestic contemplations about the lumber complementarity of the golden ratio and of the photosynthesis, <coughs> photosynthesis of nanoplaces some of which we can feel right now in this cosmic darkness under the blanket when what we hear sounds like dubbing with the moving images of solar origin. That all too moving contraction of emotion. Lying flat, I was all in movement, in the most unexpected places. And out of the blue, a gust of cool magnetism. What if I get a head cold of the wall, completely seized by a rare feeling of Eureka, a savage, touching film of exuberance, hard to protect, other than concentrically. It is because we aren't just quite positioned yet, because we still feel something quietly coming out of the walls, something perceptible only with the oldest parts of the brain. When we entered here a few thousand steps ago, each of us placed a half step differently. We were exactly like that, defined by the oldest parts of the brain. You by yours and I by mine. And now we are reading under one hemisphere of a lamp. Yours is sometimes right above my forehead, mine beside my ear. We're reading under one lamp. I mine, you yours, under one lamp. But our fingers sometimes wander, mine into yours, yours into mine. We still want to touch, let a finger stop a finger, so they would tingle together. We are here, but the chemical traces of our fingers aren't yet. I'm thinking of the relationship between caressing and touching walls of what enters me through your touch and whether I could add a cold from it, get a heartfelt cold. Can the head pass through its hard wall without catching a cold? Tell me. Can emotion rise out of the body <coughs> even without the bitter white tears that sometimes overtake the caressing? While my head is cooling off, may I at least wink at you. So, can emotion rise out of the body? <coughs> 